average time of process per machine so we have this table have machine id process id activity type and timestamp and the table shows uh, the user activities for a factory website we have the machine id process id and activity type is the primary key of the table so the machine id is the id of the machine the process id is the id of the process running on the machine with the id machine id activity type is the enum was start with have type start on end the time step is the float representation in current uh, time in seconds start means the machine starts the process at the given time stamp and end means the machine in the process at the end uh, given time stamp the start time stamp will be always be before the end time stamp for every uh, machine id and process id for pair there is a factory website that has several machines each running the same number of process uh, write and SQL uh, as an SQL query to find the average time time each uh, machine takes to complete um, a process. The time to complete a process is uh, um, the end timestamp minus the start timestamp. The average time is calculated by the total time complete average uh, process and on the machine divided by the number of the process that we run the result uh, the result exhibit should have uh, the machine id along with the average as a process time which should be around two or three dimensional places places uh, return the results table in an order the query results and let's see the, the results so we have this table and uh, this will be the output because let's look at the, the explanation directly because I guess it's a quite hard to look at this one. So in this one, let's just talk about the zero machine. So the machine zero has two process. So we just take minus both of them and we just divided them by two and we get the average. So let's break this problem into, into small problems. So first of all, we are returning the machine id and something called the process time so let's just start with a select we select um let's call a1 dot machine id and we talk about what a1 that machine let's just copy this okay and i will i want to um find that i calculate the time this is processing time so the processing time it will be um, um, the average between uh, the timestamp one and timestamp two divided by two, or divided by the time how many they are uh, appeared. So let's just see. First of all, I will use the round because they said here. Where is it? Because there's something that told me that I should use ah, uh, uh, which uh, the process time which be rounded uh, to three uh, dimensions decimals decimals so it will be round at uh, four three and let's just put the function and we want to calculate the average so i will work with the average function so abg and i will say a1 dot timestamp yeah and uh, minus sorry a2 a2 oh, let's just make this one brighter a2 dot timestamp minus a1 dot timestamp and the average will be uh, uh, it will be around 3 and this will be as um, as uh, processing time ok so we finish the select we select it from uh, the activity where is the activity where is the table activity and i will take alias a1 okay and i will use a self join because we will use uh, this join to um to in the query we use the same join multiple times so it will be e2 and i will say i will also to to make a condition so i will say on a1 the process id equals a2 the process id should be have the same process and also it should have the same machine uh, and a1 dot machine id equals a2 dot machine id 
and to make sure that we are in the same process a1 dot timestamp a1 dot timestamp is bigger than a2 dot timestamp and um, and uh, by doing that I'll just I will, I will group them by um, a1 a1 dot machine id and voila I guess that's it let's submit ah wrong answer why the output and my output was quite wrong expected um why this was wrong well, let me think a1 wait a minute a1 is bigger sorry sorry yeah okay so let's just talk about this one because i guess it needs so we have the select and in the select statement specify the columns to retrieve from the results of the query in this case we have it uh, uh, we have the machine id and uh, let's talk about this one because it's uh, quite important uh, we, uh the machine id column from the activity uh, alias a1 and uses the we're using the average function and the average function to calculate the average of the difference between uh, timestamp a2 uh, minus a1 and the average results is then rounded uh, to uh, three the, uh, the, the decimal uh, places using the route function and it is uh, alias as uh, as a processing time we have the fr uh, the from specify the primary table activity from which records will be retrieved it uh, it uh, alias uh, alias uh, it is as uh, a1 the join keywords that you can see right now this one the join keywords i don't know why it's not in blue however the join keyboards uh, keywords indicates that the activity table it is being joined with itself uh, uh, is uh, this this is what what we called uh, self join where the same table is used multiple times in the query uh, the own keywords specify the join conditions in it, uh, it is status uh, that the process id on uh, of activity one should match the process id of activity two a1 and we have uh, for this one a1 we, we, right now we just want to make sure that in, in the one we just uh, taking the same process and the same machine and after that we just want to make sure the timestamp is bigger than the other one and we just group everything by the machine id and uh, yeah that's it so um and uh, the, the group by closes the group the records by machine id this means that the average processing time will be calculated for each unique machine id so yeah that's it for this video i hope my solution was quite good i hope my, my description was quite good if you like my content make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll never miss a video and see you in future problems